Hi there, this is Terry with Adorable Deco Decor, where we make and sell wreaths. We give um, in-person and online wreath classes and um, have some tutorials available to help people learn how to make wreaths and other small home decor items. And um, I'm down here in the workshop today and I need to make a bow for a uh, springtime wreath. And um, I get a lot of questions to um, asking how to use the Easy Bow Maker, and that's what I'm going to use to make this bow. So I thought I'd share that with you. And uh, if you're not familiar with it, uh, this is the Easy Bow Maker, and um, it just comes in a small box. And actually, when you when you uh, receive it in your home, you're gonna these pegs aren't um, down in these holes. You got to go ahead and you know, hammer them down in there, and every now and then I still have to kind of tighten them. In fact, I just did just a little bit ago uh, because they get loosened um, with use. But um, but anyway, um, this is a really simple tool that is pretty inexpensive as well that can help you make really beautiful bows. Um, but um, especially, I think it's especially helpful if you have arthritis and you have hard uh, or sore hands, you have a hard time holding on to the bow loops while you're, while you're making the bow, this um, really would be a lifesaver. So um, anyway, we'll go ahead and get started here. I'm gonna zoom down. Um, well, first, let me show you what we need. Uh, besides the Easy Bow Maker, we need, um, I have actually chosen some ribbons. Um, I've got two one and a half inch wired ribbons here both in springtime colors, and um, these are both available in my Etsy shop right now if you are uh, tuning in shortly after I've recorded this video. Um, yeah, I bought way, way too many um, at Spring Market last year, and I'll never in my lifetime use that much ribbon. Uh, but anyway, good quality ribbon. But anyway, um, you can use just the same c color ribbon. Uh, you can mix them up, uh, whatever. Um, you feel like doing. Uh, I would probably recommend starting with a, just one ribbon though. It might make it a little easier for you until you start to get the hang of it. But um, got, uh, I'm going to use these two wired ribbons. They have to be wired. Um, then I've got a couple of zip ties. You can also use pipe cleaners or floral wire if you don't have zip ties. And um, a good pair of scissors. So let's get started. I'm going to zoom you in now so that you can see right up and close and personal. Okay, all right. First off, uh, we gotta decide the design. And what I'm gonna do here, I'm going to, um, I, I, I rarely will use two pattern. If I'm just gonna use two ribbons, I don't rarely use two pattern ribbons. Um, and I've got, in my spring wreath, I've got some hot pink, I've got some purples, and then of course the, the greenery has the green in it. And I thought this would be perfect to kind of pop the ribbon um, and bring a little bit more life to the, the wreath. Um, but what I'm wanting to do is just a real simple bow. I'm gonna put two loops of each of these and finish off with the, with the solid, just one loop in the front. So let's get started. And uh, first off, you're going to place your ribbon on the spool here and make sure that you get out plenty of ribbon so that you're not fighting with the spool trying to get your ribbon out at the same time you're trying to do your bow. Um, and for this I'm going to make a pretty, I want a long and flowing tail so I've got this probably about, probably about 16 inches for a tail. I'm going to go ahead and stand up because I like to be able to see over the top and I'm too short. Um, we're going to take the ribbon first in our fingers just like this, okay? And then we're going to just twist it, we'll bring it down in the, in the spools. And whenever we get down to the bottom, we're actually going to twist. See how I did that? We're just going to twist, okay? Now you wouldn't necessarily have to do that with this ribbon because it is double-sided, but it's a good idea just to get into the habit of it because um, a lot of your ribbons will not be double-sided 
And uh, also, I think it kind of helps the bow loop kind of stay open if you've twisted that. Okay, now you can see we've got measurements off to the sides. And uh, this is not going to be a real large bow. I want to make about five inch loops. And you can see I've got an inch, uh, five inch over here. I've got five inches over here. Okay, and um, we're going to measure out to the five inch line right there. I'm going to put my thumb there. And we're going to put the, put the ribbon down the, the pegs again while I'm holding this here. And I'm going to come over here I'm going to twist just like I did before. And now I'm going to come over the same thing over on the other side. I'm going to put my thumb right there at the 5 inch. And I'm sliding this down in between the pegs. And I'm going to twist. Okay, now I've got two five inch loops. I just want two total loops on each side of this color right now. So I'm gonna repeat the process. And usually, you know, I already know this is the length of bow loop I want. So I'm just gonna kinda of eyeball it and I'm gonna line it up as I slide my ribbon down through the pegs there. When I get to the bottom, I'm gonna twist. Okay, now I can kind of spread those out like that. And I'm going to come over to the other side. I'm going to do the same thing. I'm going to kind of hold it right here. Right along that other bow loop. And now on this one, we either can or we don't have to. We don't have to twist it um, because I'm just going to do the two loops and I'm going to have, now I'm going to make a tail, okay? All right, so see, this is what we have right now as I'm looking down on top of it. See how easy that was? All right, now I'm going to measure off my tail. We're going to cut that. Okay. We're going to change to our other ribbon. Slide that down. Okay, now this is also double-sided. Again, you wouldn't necessarily have to do the twist um, to get the right side of the ribbon, but there again, I, I recommend doing that just to kind of get in the habit of it. Okay, now I've got my tails about where I want, and I'm going to grab it just like this. You can do it this way too, but I just I'm all ready to twist right here. Okay, I'm going to slide it down, and I twist as I go down. Okay? All right, now I want these loops, since, um, since this is going to be forward a little bit, I'm going to want these just a little bit smaller. So I'm going to go about four and a half inches. I'll just kind of eyeball it here. And I'm already bringing it down through the, the pegs. Got my finger about where I want it at four and a half inches. Now I'm going to come over here and I'm going to twist, pushing it. And every time I come here and I twist, I push that down. Because you want your bow center to be good and tight. Okay, I'm going to do the same thing over on this side. Kind of eyeball about four and a half. If you wanted to, you could go ahead and put some hash marks where the four and a half in, or where your half marks are. I just kind of eyeball it myself. Okay. Now we're going to do the same thing again. Just going to lay that right on top of that other loop I have. And it doesn't have to be exact. A little wrinkle in my ribbon right there. Okay, we'll push it down. Same thing on this side. Run that down through there. Twist. And again, since this is double-sided ribbon, I, I wouldn't have to do that, but um, OK, 
Okay, and one thing I do like about the Easy Bow Maker, I can look right away and see what my bow looks like, and immediately I can tell I've got a little bit of a long loop over here, so I'm gonna draw that in just a little bit. If you wanna see how your loops are doing as far as being even, just put your fingers in them like that, kind of pull them. But I can see this one was a little bit too long. I'm gonna make sure it's comparable to the other side as well. Okay. All right, now we'll go down. Whoops. I'm gonna cut off my tail. And I'm gonna just put one more loop on either side. And generally on the, the last ribbon, I usually will make the loops a little bit, or the tail a little bit shorter. Okay, now remember, we're gonna grab it like this. You see that? So that we can twist. Okay. Twist and pushing down. I'm holding it with my index finger. And this one, we're gonna go in about another half an inch. So that'll be at four inches now. Got the four inch marker right here. I'm gonna twist. And here's the four inch marker right here. Bring this back to the middle. And um, I'm not gonna twist this one, but you could if you wanted. Okay, and if you're happy with it, we'll go ahead and um, trim our ribbon tail. Like I said, check to make sure you're happy with it. I love this color combination. It just speaks spring. Spring, Easter colors, all that. Okay, now, sometimes this is my most difficult part. <laughs> I'm just because I'm a little bit uncoordinated with it. Um, but we're gonna take our hand and kind of run underneath here all the while trying to keep the center of our bow all together. And um, we're gonna take our twist tie. Always make sure that the proper edge is laying where you can get it secured. And what I mean by that is make sure this, this bump here is on the outside. Okay, we're gonna slide that right underneath of the bow loops, right to the center. Make sure you've got all of your bow loops. I've done that before too and had to start all over. Okay, and we're just gonna slide that right off like that. Tighten it down a bit, not all the way, but we're gonna tighten it down a bit to where then we can kind of relax our hand just a little bit and we can go and arrange our loops, make sure we're happy with it one last time because once you secure that um, or tighten that zip tie, it's not going anywhere. That's one thing I do like about using the zip ties. Okay, it doesn't have to be just exactly the way you want it, but you can have an idea whether you like what you're, gonna, what you're seeing. That's what we have so far, okay? Now, we're gonna take this second zip tie there again, making sure the bump is gonna be on the outside. It'll be actually be pointing toward the ribbon back. And we're gonna slide that right in there. And this is what you're gonna to use to secure your bow to the wreath or whatever else you're gonna connect it to. Like I said, you could use pipe cleaners, you could use uh, floral wire, whatever is your preference. I use both. Okay, so that's what we have, okay? Now I'm gonna trim off, oops, I forgot to 
I'm going to get my wire cutters for this stage. Forgot that part. Um, we're just going to trim all the back of this. I've already made sure that it's good and tight. Okay, it's not going anywhere. Okay. Perfect. I'm going to go ahead and back up now here. I'm going to trash. Isn't that beautiful so far? I love the colors. Love it. I'm so ready for spring, aren't you? So, okay. Now, sit down again here. Now, we need something to cover up that uh, zip tie, okay? You don't want that showing. You want this, it's got this beautiful bow. You don't want that zip tie showing. So, let me show you what we're gonna do. I'm gonna take a little bit of either one of these ribbons. Um, since I've used more of the pink, I'm gonna go ahead and use the plaid and that's what we're going to use to cover up the middle. And uh, we're just going to trim off, oh, I don't know. I, I don't like to shortchange myself. Um, I'm going to say that's probably about eight inches, nine inches of ribbon. And uh, you can either take that, since this is one and a half inch ribbon, you could double it like that, or you could go ahead and um, cut it down the center, which I think I'm going to do. That way if you're making two bows, you could go ahead and you've got the center covered for your next bow. I usually save these scraps when I do this. Okay, then we'll just take that and fold it right in half. Just like that. See what I've got there? Just fold it right in half. And we're going to take it and we're just going to tie it around that zip tie. Trim off the ends here. what we have. You see how it's covered up the zip tie there? Okay, and that, folks, that is the way you use an easy bow maker. And um, I've seen them at Hobby Lobby. You can use your 40% off coupon. Um, I don't think I've ever seen it go on sale there. You know, I use, they usually alternate sales 50% off, but I've never seen it go on sale. But you can use your coupon for that. Um, and um, they're also available on Amazon, and I've seen them at Deco Exchange also online. So, so anyway, uh, that's it. If you have any questions, please post them in the comments. And um, if you like what you see here and want to hear more, if you wouldn't mind to share this to your page, then you'll always have it for a reference. And uh, if you know somebody who crafts, if you wouldn't mind to share that with them as well, hopefully uh, they'll be interested. Okay. All right. Well, I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.